We finally got the big one, baby! The Kronos. I've been saving for it for a long time, and in this video, it's the level four fit that's going to have you fly through all the missions. Let's dive in. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome in. Name's Loru, digital advertiser, content creator, and Eve Enjoyer. For the better part of 10 years now, and it's beautiful. Look at it. The large T-posing lad, the Kronos, is here. I'm so excited, and here's the fit. All right. This one, we fly through level fours, like we were saying. It's incredible, the massive DPS increase and just the overall ease of use quality of life that this amazing fit has. Let's dive in, not waste another second. If you just came from our Navy Dominics video, you know that we've got faction guns on this. We got the big ones. This is a bit of a blingy fit, and I will not apologize. We've got Tech 2 ammo in there. Yes, Tech 2. A drone link augmenter, two. Two small tractor beams, a bastion mode, duh, thank you very much. A jump drive, a warp drive, tracking computer with some scripts in there. A nice faction cap battery, a big boy armor rep, a single damage control. That's it for the tank. We're going to talk about it. Two, count them, two tracking enhancers, three faction magnetic stabilizers. Mm, the damage is quite nice. The rigs, we're pumping. We're pumping the DPS. A hybrid burst aerator. Sure. Say that five times fast. Number one, a hybrid locust coordinator two. Hybrid locust coordinator two. Yes, that is what we're doing. For the ammo, we got the javelin. We got the we got the javelin. We got the uranium. I, I carry some nanette repair base just in case. An optimal range script just in case. An MTU just in case. We got three Drugas. You're in a big ship. We're going to talk about Marauders in just a moment and why you need these, okay? This is your oh shit button. This is another oh shit button. This is an optimal range booster to make sure you can get and hit the things quite effectively. Finally, for your drones, you've got just the Hornets. Your drones are going to do nothing compared to the Dominics that I'm used to flying. The guns are the DPS thing here, but this kills the frigates. Your Hornet 2, this is just an extra Hornet 2 I had, whatever. Uh, your EC 300s are anti-gank measures. And finally, the most important drone is the Dunk Salvage. Let's transition into how to use this right now. There's no salvager on this. You'll notice because we have the dunks on here, okay? I don't have a salvager here because the dunks can just take care of it. The drone link augmenter is going to let us tell our drones to go salvage stuff at 80 away. So if my tractor beams are out of range and if I'm going taxiing towards stuff to pull it in, this is mainly cargo containers, my drones can, I can send out five dunk drones at the same time to five separate wrecks to salvage them, bring them back, get that sweet loot, okay? Easy peasy. So that's the purpose of why we don't have a salvager on this and instead we have the dunks i found the salvager to be not really needed i was just using the salvage drones instead typically what we're going to do is we're going to go into a mission we're going to get to a spot we're going to blip away with the micro jump drive activate bastion and start popping stuff with tech 2 javelins which are close range ammo you go 105 away it's nutty thank you very much and you are completely cap stable without this on and the tracking computer is really just to maximize the chance that you're getting those smashing those penetrating hits i misunderstood how to use tracking speed but the gist of it is if something is moving uh, if you're here and something's moving to the side of you, it's harder to hit. If something's moving straight towards you, it's easier to hit. The higher the tracking speed, the better the chance that you're going to be able to get those. Instead of hit, you're going to have smashing, penetrating, or it might be reversed. Either way, bigger crits. That's the name of the game. Make sure you keep this going. If something's far from you and you blip away from it, you can, with this Kronos, target out to... Uh, 146. So that's incredible and fantastic. I just love it all. We only carry uranium because it goes out to 167. That's already way better. You can use antimatter, but I find that with uranium and javelin, that's plenty. You don't need to also carry the uranium and waste your cargo space. You can take this off and slap in an optimal range script if you would like to push the javelin range a little bit further. But typically, I just swap the ammo and call it a day. Okay, so that's how I use this fit. I'll maybe have a future video of us running through some level fours, but suffice it to say, if you want level four tips, go watch our Dominic's video that's going to come up at the end of this video that goes into how we play the level fours. It's basically the same thing. I'm telling you right now, the guns do so much damage. You must put two guns into one group, two guns into the other group. You one shot most frigates and almost two or three shot most cruisers. It's something to behold. I tell you, it's fantastic. Some general marauder tips for you, okay, as we kind of end this video. Keep a uh, smart bomb on hand. 
There are known gankers in my system, and even though smart bombs, you got to be careful when you have something equipped. If there's a bunch of gankers in system, especially if you see them flying around with a bunch of catalysts, slap on some smart bombs and one of these tractor beam slots. Just get ready to hit something just in case. Pick up these from various missions. I didn't buy these. These are just some Tech One variants from missions that I've gotten, and they're kind of expensive. They're like seven hundred thousand a piece, comparatively to you know some of the other drops and missions. And I just keep them around just in case. All right. Consider having a more tank. Consider having more tank besides the single damage control and the single armor rep. I find this as plenty for level fours, plenty for even some trig lobby and hunting. We're going to have a separate video on that, so definitely sub for that. Thank you very much. You don't need more for this, and you can just keep on pumping in the DPS. You kill stuff so fast, you don't need the DPS. And I don't have, like, I have mostly level four skills, some level five skills. We're going after a large hybrid turret five soon. It's going to just be the got to go after it. I'm in, a, I'm in a marauder about damn time you know so maybe put in some extra tank there consider a smart bomb one of the final things that i would tell you is make sure you use your frigate escape bay okay we have a probe in there it's actually in my other one because i was running around at my dominics but we have a probe fit there's going to be a separate video coming out right after this that goes over the frigate escape bay's best in slot and i mean best in slot fit so definitely su subscribe for that so there are some general marauder tips for you as well as our level four fit let me know if you disagree if you agree is there a fellow uh is there a chronos like fan club that i can join because i love the ship i really do i love the navy dominics but this i feel like i'm playing e for the first time so let me know what you think check out in the comments we got some other videos coming up for you thank you very much we'll see you in the next video